we are going to discuss about rock weathering. Rock weathering. What is the meaning of that one? Panshu jirnaya. Rocks mean pashan. Weathering mean jirnaya. So, what are you going to Panshu jirnaya. Okay. Due to many reasons, the rocks on earth break into small pieces and form soil. Okay, due to many reasons, the rocks on earth break into pieces. From that pieces, soil is formed. You know, uh, under our earth, there is a bedrock. That is a bedrock that we mark through Pashani. From this bedrock, that means whether in this bedrock, soil is formed. Whether in this bedrock, bedrock is not Soil forming. Okay. There are three ways of rock weathering. First one is physical or mechanical weathering. Then second one is chemical weathering. And third one is biological weathering. First type of weathering is physical or mechanical weathering. Physical or mechanical weathering. That means Breaking the soil into small pieces due to physical factors. Due to physical factors, the soil is broken into small pieces. So, what are these physical factors? Due to heat or due to wind. Due to water, soil is broken into pieces. Okay, let's discuss further about these things. So, how? The heat affect to the weathering. Do you know during the daytime? During the daytime, the rocks get heated due to the sunlight. During the daytime, there is sunlight. So, due to the sunlight, the rocks get heated. Then what happened during night time? During night time, the rocks get cooled due to cool environment. Okay. Do you know, in, in some times, there will be sudden rains in the daytime. There will be sudden rains during the daytime. So, at that time, the rocks get heated and the sudden rains cool down these heated rocks. Sudden rains cool down these heated rocks. So, because of this process, we call it these process as heating and cooling process. So because of heating, the rocks get expanded. And because of cooling, the rocks get what? Contracted. Expanding and contracting. Expanding, contracting. So because of these process, the pieces of the rock get loosened. The pieces of the rocks get loosened and removed from the rock. That means the rocks are broken into pieces. That means the rock weathering. So this is happened due to heating and cooling process. How the wind affect the weathering? Do you know uh, sometimes there are heavy wind. The wind flows fastly. So because of that most of the sand particles flows with wind and hits the rocks. So, because of that, they, they get weathered. Okay? How the water affects the weathering? You know, water flows through the rocks. Water flows. Because of this flowing, Rough edges of the rocks are soft and shaped. I think you have seen these stones, most of the stones near to the waterfalls and rivers. These stones are soft. You can take these stones. There are so many beautiful shapes. This is because of flowing water through these stones. They get shaped and soft. This is a type of weathering. So that means those stones get weathered. And another thing. Look 
at this one. This is a rock. There are some cavities in the rocks. This is a cavity. So, because of the rainfall, the water enters into these cavities. So, then what will happen? When the temperature is decreasing below the freezing point, the water turns into ice. So, what will happen to the volume of water when turned into ice? Volume will increase. So, here the volume has been increased. So, because of that, this rock will weather. And again, when the temperature increased, this ice turned into water. And again, when temperature is decreased below the freezing point, again that water turned into ice and volume will be increased. So, because of this process, this rock will break into pieces. Here, this small part, this small piece will remove from the rock. That means the rock will break into pieces. That means the rock get weathered. So, this is how the physical weathering happens. How the water, wind and heat affect to the physical weathering. Second type of weathering is chemical weathering. Chemical weathering of rocks. So, what is the meaning of chemical weathering? Transformation of rocks into other forms by reacting with water as it's an oxygen. So, there are chemicals in the rocks. There are chemicals. So, these chemicals in the rocks react with water as it's an Oxygen, water, acids, and oxygen, they react. So after reacting, so these these rocks transform into another form. So this is called chemical weathering. So to get more information, more understanding about chemical weathering, let's do activity eighteen point three. Activity eighteen point three in page number hundred. Here we need a glass container. This is a glass container and we have to fill this glass container with vinegar. What is vinegar? vinegar? Vinegar is an acid, a type of acid. We have to fill the glass container with vinegar. Then we have to put a limestone into the glass container. We have to put limestone. What is Limestone, it is a type of sedimentary rock. You know this one, limestone. We have discussed these types of rocks. Okay. Then, after putting the limestone, we have to observe. Here, we can observe this limestone dissolves with forming bubbles. The limestone dissolves forming bubbles. So, what is the reason? That means this is vinegar. Vinegar is an acid. So, because of acid, the limestone dissolves. That means the rocks get weathered because of acid. Limestone is a type of rock. So, rock get, get weathered because of the acids. Okay. Another thing is these gases. Do you know in our atmosphere there are carbon dioxide and also sulfur dioxide. So in these days the carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide gases are increased in our atmosphere. So this carbon dioxide react with water. That means in our atmosphere there are water vapor. So carbon dioxide react with water vapor and produce acids. Mostly carbonic acids produce acids. And also sulfur dioxide. When sulfur dioxide reacts with water, it becomes too very acidic. Very acidic water. Mostly uh, sulfuric acids can be formed. That is very acidic compound. So, 
because of that one acid rains are occurred acid rains are occurred so the rocks react with these acid rains and get weathered rocks get get weathered because of these acid rains these are the acids carbonic acids sulfuric acids so acid rains are reason for this chemical weathering of rocks this is how chemical weathering happens understood biological weathering what is biological weathering plants and animal activities helpful for this biological weathering of rocks rocks get weathered because of plant and animal activity first we can discuss about the plant activities so here you can see this is a rock this is a rock this is an opening there are some openings you can see in the rocks most of the rocks so a tree can be grown in this opening through this opening a tree can be grown because of the growth of this tree the rock get cracked you can see when the growing of the plant the root of the plant gets bigger and bigger root of the plants get bigger and bigger because of the growing of plant so because of that one the rocks get cracked that mean rocks get weathered because of this root plant root because of this plant root the rock get weathered this is because of plant activity have you seen white and light green patches on the big rocks we call those patches as lichens i think you all have seen these lichens so lichens are combination of algae and fungus lichens are the combination of algae and fungus so these lichens produce chemicals and acids these lichens produce chemicals and acids so because of these chemicals and acids the rocks get weathered the rocks get weathered because of these chemicals and acids i think you have seen these types of lichen and there are some other reasons for weathering of rocks this activities of man man use different kind of activities to break the rocks that mean rocks get weathered and uh, due to thudding of hooves and horn fightings are reasons for rock weathering so this is how biological weathering happen so in our soil the soil in our earth crust is made because of these physical chemical and biological weathering our soil is made because of weathering of rocks okay okay now we finish our second part of the lesson weathering of rocks we can meet with our third part in next video okay bye